continuing our Medical Monday segment this morning. Uh, it's always nice to check in with doctors over at Advent Health. And this morning, we're checking in with Dr. Uh, Sukandi, who joins us once again. It's been a little while, but he's a board-certified, dual-fellowship-trained uh, liver surgeon, which we're talking about the health of our liver and what we should know about this. So good to see you this morning. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk here. And um, uh, my name is uh, Eswanta Sukhani. I'm a liver surgeon. Um, I work at Advent Health in Tampa for about six years now. I'm the director of the Hepatobiliary uh, Robotic uh, Liver Surgery Program. And uh, in this opportunity, I would like to um, uh, talk about fatty liver disease, which is becoming very, very common in our practice. And, you know, I, I'm a liver surgeon, so therefore I, I perform operation for the liver. Uh, from the uh, uh, liver cyst to liver cancer. However, many patients who come to the office with the liver tumor, they also have fatty liver disease. And in fact, this is one of the um, new, however, it's becoming more and more common diagnosis in the younger patients. So why do you think that is, doctor? Why are we seeing it more? You, you know, I, I think the, the rate of obesity is increasing. Okay. In the United States, uh, used to be when, when we see patients with fatty liver, which will um, or can lead to liver cirrhosis, most of them were from a hepatitis C or alcoholic drinking. But now, with the rate of obesity, the obesity actually becoming number three um, uh, reason for the liver to be fatty and eventually can become cirrhotic. So if you lose weight, I mean, as I would imagine that's going to help the liver, but is that immediate? I mean, what can be done if you were already kind of at that disease point? Yeah, so, so um, you know, we work with our hepatologists to try to coach or guide the patient in order to improve the fatty liver disease. So obviously, uh, fatty liver disease uh, is not treated surgically. There's no uh, operation that can suck out the, the liver um, uh, fat. And, and make them fat-free. However, um, uh, exercise and diet are probably the first and the foremost uh, for the treatment of fatty liver disease in addition to avoiding alcohol. And um, a lot of people, uh, they have a hard time doing it on their own, so they, they, they will better off to be treated in the program where they have a comprehensive uh, doctor, surgeons who work together with their pathologists, which is what we have in Advent Health Tampa. Is there symptoms? I mean, is there any kind of pain associated, like certain pain or anything that you can look in the blood that would know that, you know, this is the direction you're headed? You know, it, that's an excellent question. Most patients are, are actually asymptomatic. It means they, they don't even know that they have liver, uh, 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 fatty liver disease. And uh, most of the patients, they are not yellow until things are becoming very bad because liver is an organ that can compensate a lot until it, can, it cannot compensate anymore. So most of the patient actually, uh, when they come to the office, that's because the primary care doctor found that they have a, a elevation in the liver function test. It means the blood work is bad. So that is usually the first indication that they have a liver disease, fatty liver disease. And uh, most of the patient were sent for, uh, for an ultrasound where the ultrasound will, will mention that there is a fatty liver disease seen on the imaging. I got gotcha. you. The most common uh, way of diagnosing this disease and not necessarily, yeah. necessarily the symptoms. So, doctor, we're out of time. We've been showing this website here, yourcareexperts.com. Uh, I guess, is that a good place to go to if people have questions about this or, or concerns? Yes, 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 absolutely. So, this is uh, one of our uh, websites in order to help the patient with um, a possibility of uh, any liver disease. Uh, fed the liver is one of them. And um, everyone is encouraged to visit the website in order to uh, meet the expert. All right. Sounds good. Doctor, so good to see you again. Thank you so much for your time this morning and talking about this. Okay. Thank you very much for the help.